right, so some nice athleticism with this gear. You can see she's got a quick snappy rhythm. And as you look at things from, from the back, you can see that she does a nice job of getting lined up at the apex of the turn. So, you know, it looks like she's got pretty strong pressure on this, this outside ski. And she does a really good job of controlling her inside ski. So she's got this, this leg pretty bent to allow her mass to move inside. And this femur is rotated laterally. Um, and this foot is inverted or rolled over towards its little toe edge um, to get both skis on to the same edge angle and tracking in the same direction. So that's great. So we move to the other side. Again, both skis up on quite a high edge angle. Um, so that's great. Looks like the upper body got, gets twisted a tiny bit this way on this side, which, you know, might bring the pressure in towards the inside ski a little bit more than it does on the other side, uh, but fairly minor. So I suspect that during the apex of the turn down here when there's maximum pressure and down here, um, you know, things are working really well. The skis are carving in the same direction, solid grip. Um, but what I think we can focus on is just connecting these two a little bit smoother. So we'll take this part and just trying to get engaged the, the edge grip quite early in the arc so it creates a round arc and uh, have our mass lined up early so we can control the direction up here. And so I think we can do that uh, just by working on the time of timing of that inside leg and, and the release. So it's pretty much the same move that she's got dialed in for the apex of the turn. It just needs to happen as she transitions. So we can see right here, um, as we're moving through this arc, um, this, this ski is still engaged, or still on edge, and the leg is kind of, or this knee is rolled in this way a little bit. So the ski just hasn't released yet. Um, well, she's already trying to get this ski engaged. Uh, so what happens in that case is the upper body can't gets blocked from moving freely into the new turn. So she has to make a bit of a, a twisty move with the upper body to get it to kind of flop over instead of just allowing this, this edge or this ski to release um, and get out of the way so her upper body can simply follow its momentum and topple into the new turn. Um, so we're just gonna work on the timing of this move here to roll this foot out, right? Turn this femur. Um, so the knee just kinda pops out that way and then just unblocks the mass from, from moving into the new turn. And that should allow for a little earlier edge engagement going into the new turn, uh, but also allow the, the mass to line up here um, with the, the outside foot at the top of the arc so she can control the direction better, right? And either she can get nice grip there and control the direction, without having to, having to twist the skis, right, and drift, uh, or getting sort of a, an elongated, elongated turn shape longer than perhaps she wants.